Hi, my name's Mike and for the last three and a half years I've been living in a school bus named Navi traveling the country. Recently I've decided to buy a short bus and start converting that as my new full-time home. Consider following along as I move forward with the build and head out on more adventures. So here's the thing, I uh, flew here from Utah and drove to Utah previously, which means all of my tools are currently in Salt Lake City. So I'm trying to pull the seats out of the bus, but I have no tools. So I think I'm running to Home Depot. I'm going to buy an extra set of tools that I'm just going to leave with my dad when I head out. But I need some tools to actually get these seats out. So Home Depot trip. You ready to get some new tools? Oh, yeah. I'm always ready for <laughs> tools. <laughs> ready for tools. Here we go. Look what we got. What'd you get? Oh, I got some nice tools. Oh, he's got some nice tools. On sale. Impact on sale. Heat gun on sale. What are you doing? Radar gun. It's a radar gun? Mm-hmm. No, that's a heat gun. We're pulling stickers off. Definitely one important thing about every single bus build, project, construction, whatever you're doing, there is one super important thing. And that is having the right tools. A scraper, a nice palm scraper, and a heat gun. Because if you want to get that guy off, you're going to need those tools. But seriously, like, I have worked on quite a few different buses, quite a few different vans. And, I mean, anyone out there who's in construction, they'll tell you, tools will save you, like, so much time. They will make every job so much easier. So, if you're planning on doing a bus build, you're planning on doing anything... I mean, I know tools can be expensive, but I mean, I'm telling you, it's 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 a world of difference when you have the right ones and you will save yourself so much frustration. So definitely, if you can, get the right tools <laughs> or rent them or however you can get them. Call friends, relatives, your parents, brother, your sister, your, I don't know, just anyone. Just find tools. I got the family's help. Thanks, Christina. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. We're pulling decals off. Like and if anyone's converted a bus before, you know that this is the worst job ever. Therefore, I'm giving it to her. He says thanks, but he didn't ask. He said you're doing. That's very true. I did just kind of say, hey, can you come help me? And it was kind of more of like a, hey, you're going to help me. And she's just such a good sister that she said yes. But all right, mission mission number two is uh, we're going to be pulling out the seats. So pretty much, it's really actually pretty simple. All we got to do is get the bolt on the top. My dad's going to do that. I'm going to go underneath the bus. Two people always makes it easier. And I'm going to just put a wrench on it. He's going to impact it and uh, get all the bolts out and pull the seats out. Hardest thing is if they're all really rusty, fingers crossed, they don't look rusty. So this could be either really easy or really hard. Uh, totally don't know, but it's time. So me and my dad, we were going for it. I was under the bus. He was up top. We got, we got like all of these all of these out pretty much but then this happened the half inch drive just snapped in half so um unfortunately like i said previously all my tools are in utah so i need to run to the store now so back to what i said before having the right tools is everything <laughs> but i mean we're making really good work of it back to the store christina what our tool broke. How are you doing here? Really good. The tools that you thought were going to be really good actually suck. Wait, really? Yeah, so how much did this cost? Wait, that doesn't work? No, no, how much did this cost? That was like 70 bucks. This was worth it more than this because this oh, those were like $2. just took off all the paint like this and got scratching. Uh, and you can legit just heat it up and just start peeling. Oh, huh, well, tip for everyone. Christina says just use the heat gun and it might just pull right off. Wait, are you just throwing it on the ground? Well, Dad's going to pick it up later. Dad's gonna pick it up later. Yeah, here you go, Dad. Just straighten your palm. I'm getting you a garbage can or something. <laughs> All at once. How satisfying is that? Nice. Thank you for my gift. <laughs> and so it starts. Basically, every day when we were building this guy, Michael and my dad were at Home Depot. And every store, whatever, to build Navi every day. So where will you be later today, Michael? The store. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, so today it's raining really bad, but I need to get the seats out of the bus because my dad actually wants to use the bus instead of renting a U-Haul. So if anyone's out there and you buy a school bus, just expect that when you take the seats out that you now have like this big empty space that all of your friends and family are gonna wanna use to move things, um, which I'm totally fine with, it'll be fun. But I gotta get these seats out today even though it's raining so that I can get that whole thing moving. So let's hope the rain kind of holds off and uh, we get these seats out. So wish I would've gotten it done the other day, but we didn't get it done, so today's the day. It's definitely a little cold out here. I got this jacket from my dad. Thanks, Dad, because it's like super wet and cold outside. Um, but because I'm the good son, my dad's gonna be inside the bus uh, getting the bolts from the top, and I'm gonna go underneath and lay in the puddle. So, uh, like I said, we just kinda have to get it done today. And even though it's raining, it is winter, so it's better than snow right now, I think, actually. Um, so I got some wood underneath and some cardboard, and we're gonna start getting these seats out, and hopefully I don't get completely soaked. But, uh, here we go. All right, you ready to do this? Oh yeah, I'm more than ready. Are you ready to not get soaking wet like that? You <laughs> You're getting wet, I'm staying dry. <laughs> That's very true. All right, well we're gonna start in the back, head to the front. So we got, we got this one already out, and I chucked it out there. So I think we're gonna be doing a bit more chucking today to get these out, and then uh, these seats, actually what we're gonna end up doing is just pulling the upholstery off, and then uh, recycling the metal, so it's gonna take a little bit of extra time, but it's worth it to be able to recycle it than just like chuck it in the dump, so. Let's get, Let's get going. I'm gonna get soaked. Welcome to the underside of the school bus. A place where it's just dark and cold pretty much actually. But uh, I got my socket, but it's not deep enough. I need a longer socket or a deeper socket. But essentially what we're trying to do is trying to get uh, all of these guys off right here. Which as you can see, it's actually pretty clean under here. I mean, I'm not too concerned about this. But my dad just gave me a new socket, so I think we're gonna give this one a go again. Oh boy, all right. Are you ready? No, come on. Uh, well, I'm not ready anyway, so I just asked that question for no reason. Go to the next one. It's not a deep enough socket. Looks like we need a deeper socket. Oh, okay. All right, little little tip to those out there sometimes this isn't good enough and you need like a half inch drive maybe or something um, sometimes you just got to use your old good old oh my hat's falling the good old ratchet because uh, nothing beats leverage nothing all right so lesson learned remember that time I said the impact wasn't enough you got to do leverage well this apparently isn't enough either so breaker bar longer bar more leverage round two <laughs> Round four, bigger muscle. I got it. Oh boy, hey, this is pretty nice down here. It is pretty nice down here. Yeah. Man, <laughs> rest in the face, should be wearing glasses. <laughs> oh, muscles got it. Round four. And this is why they say I gotta gain some weight. Yeah. I don't have the muscle. I'm okay to admit that. We all need help sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it going. Oh, and it's just the tar build up. Good job, Dad. Yeah. I win. Yes! Do so you guys remember that time that I said I was going to be laying in the water and uh, that I was going to be going getting wet? Because I'm the good son, my dad's going to be inside the bus uh, getting the bolts from the top, and I'm going to go underneath and lay in the puddle. And then somehow my dad ended up down there and he just. He's just killing it, so he's just like, no, 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 I'll stay, I'll stay. And I'm like, well, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Um, killing it. Can you put a gun on the middle one or no? Possibly, you wanna trade? Yeah. Oh. Cool. Yes! All right, go ahead. Got it. So there's no rust, uh, so the bolts come out pretty easy in terms of rust. But there's a bunch of tar on the bolts, which is actually a good thing because it's part of the rust prevention process. But um, it's not good because uh, it, it keeps the, the threads from coming undone. Yeah, but not fantastic for trying to get bolts out. But can't complain. If you guys would have seen my original bus, this is a breeze. Dad, isn't this just a breeze? This is, this is a lot 
See, he says it's a lot easier. I don't know if you can hear him, but all right, next one. Here we go. I'd like to bring you this important announcement. Uh, one thing that I've learned with, especially me and my dad working together on projects and buses and houses and things, um, communication is key. He's under the bus, I'm above the bus, and I don't know where his hands are. I don't know if he's ready for me to uh, throw the impact. And for sake of injury and for sake of getting the job done in the best way possible, um, communication is key. So remember when you're doing this, to always second check it because sometimes I can't hear if he says go or like no or he's just yelling at me. But either way, uh, communication is key. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. He's all by himself. Just look at him. Oh, you got to uh, crack him, buddy. Crack him the top. All right, we're gonna take a little break for a second because we're going to uh, get some brake clean and put them on there to try to help get the tar off so we can get the wrenches on better because the bolts, like the heads of the bolts are so covered in tar that it's hard to get the actual like ratchet on it. So we're going to clean them real quick. So I just want to say, uh, Badge, I know you're watching this. We're going to use some brake clean. I know you're real happy about that. So we've learned that, uh, an advantage of a big bus versus a small bus. Uh, under this guy right here, I can like like sit with full headroom. Um, this one you can't. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually jack the front up so it's just easier to get around the gas tank and drivetrain and things like that. So first uh, kind of new learning curve with the minibus, headroom is just not there on the underside, but we're gonna figure this out and get these seats out. Well, that went uh, a lot easier than expected and uh, we can totally get to the front of the bus now. So nice open room. Build in the winter, they said. It would be fun, they said. It's only almost January. This was a horrible idea. Who wants to build in the winter? Not me, not me. Oh, well, I guess I am though. All of these seats are out. And what we have to do now is these two seats right here, the problem is the gas tank in this bus is right uh, under the bolt. So we're not gonna be able to get to them and I'm not driving the tank just to get seats out. So we're gonna have to grind these, the tops of these ones off to kind of get the seats out. Not that big of a deal. Uh, it's kind of upsetting because the bolts are actually really easy coming out. But uh, seat number two. That's pretty exciting. Chuck it. I think we did, I think we did some damage back here. All these seats, all these seats are gone. Kind of looks like a mess right now, but that's okay. We cleaned up all the seats at this point. We put them over here, all nice and stacked up. The idea is, I said it before, we're just gonna kind of strip all the upholstery off of them and then recycle the metal. Uh, I already had some people actually reach out to me. They want the seat belts. So I'm gonna be kind of taking those off carefully and uh, kind of sending those out if anyone wants to reuse them. I'm, I'm not going to, but we got most of them out. So what we've got left is we've got two right on this side and then the front kind of protector pad thing. Uh, and then this seat I'm actually gonna leave in for now because uh, this is still registered as a school bus as I mentioned in my last video. So it's not a motor home. So if a passenger's in here, they need a seat belt. So until I get the title switched over, I'm gonna leave this one just in case I need anyone with me. But time to get those last two seats out. So these are the ones we have to grind? Yeah. Man, that stinks. I wonder if we can maybe, I wonder if these are welded though. Probably. Like sometimes the factory will weld the top of the bolts so that like you can just get them. So, you wanna cross our fingers? Okay, let's see. No, they are loose though. That stinks, perfectly good bolts to get out. Let me just, I'm gonna try to get my hand above the tank and see if I just can't get the wrench on them. I'll get it so that if you turn it slow, we'll get it to like catch the mm -hmm. rail, mm -hmm. and then we can get, yeah, then maybe it will go. Maybe. If not, we'll have to grind it, but. Welcome back to the underside of the bus, everyone. Uh, what the idea here is, we're gonna try to get this wrench above the fuel tank, kind of just get it on the bolt enough that my dad can spin them. Otherwise, I gotta grind them. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm not helpful. Let's see if I can even get my hand on them. All right, I know where the, I can see the fuel sender. So maybe you could tell me where they are in comparison to the fuel sender. It's directly behind the fuel sender. We're trying to go for those bolts. Ugh. Hey guys. Try to go for those bolts way back there that you probably can't see, but they're like 
Air leg up there. I don't know how I got my head up here. All right, we're gonna try to go for the back one. Oh, I nailed it, I got it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. We got him, we got him. Oh man, that's so good. We got the front seat out. It was like, I mean, you saw where I was. But now I gotta shift it back. But the problem is, the problem is that I've got this guy right here. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my head in between there. So we might do this. So we got the first. What's the point? So we got the first. I just not even gonna try anymore. All right, back at it. We got the first seat out. And uh, the problem now is that I gotta get my head in between this muffler. The drive shaft. We're gonna try to get that one. Don't know if it's actually gonna happen, but we're gonna try to break it. Oh boy. Try it. Oh. Try it. Nope. Oh. Oh. Talk about being behind a rock in a hard spot or being thrown underneath the bus, literally. Right. Try it. Oh. Nope, definitely not it. Try it. Got it. Woohoo! All right, time to get up underneath this bus. Oh, wait, we still gotta do that front piece. All right, we made it. Uh, got all the seats out, but it's raining really hard out right now. I don't know if you can see that, but I feel like I just want to stand. Stand her here. I'm laying down. I think that's uh, about it for the day. We've got the entire bus completely empty, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to clean, sweep, kind of get this whole thing organized, and then we're actually going to load it because my dad has a bunch of like couches and desks and things that he wants to bring to one of his rental properties, actually. And instead of giving a U-Haul, he wants to use the bus. And I was like, well, if you help me get the seats out, you can use the bus. So tomorrow this thing is gonna get loaded with a bunch of furniture and uh, hopefully it all fits. I mean, there's a lot of room in here, so hopefully it all works out. But you know what? I mean, bus is gutted. We're on the right track moving forward. So yep, on to the next job, on to the next video. Here we go. Thanks for watching.